Welcome guys, today we're going to program this Karel PC into free source settings and we have example here negative 23 degrees celsius and it has a range to for example this settings is negative 23 degrees celsius to negative 18 degrees celsius now we're going to subtract 23 to 18 is 5 degrees celsius so that 5 degrees celsius is fall under our rd codes which means control differential and we're going to put a value of 5 degrees celsius here while the set point here is the lowest so here is our set point so i will just bring down the negative 23 degrees celsius and we're going to set this because it's being set to chiller setting and to do that just long press the set button here when ps appear release then press set again and we're going to enter 22 for the value of password we are now going to locate rd press set and we're going to change 3 degrees celsius into 5 degrees celsius and this 5 here is the cut in of the compressor then press to memorize just long press it to go back to display and we're going to change the set point which is the control there which is the control temperature and that is negative 23 and upon reaching this negative 23 the compressor will cut off once the display temperature stop start blinking we can now adjust this into negative 23 as simple as this ato iti kalakaan nga panagprogram ti karil easy model ti controller tag iti commercial refrigerator and walk-in freezer then press set and we are now in freezer, freezer setting thanks for watching everyone how to enter programming in karil easy and we are about to enter these codes to do that press the set button here for three seconds when ps appear release press set again and we're going to press the up button for 22 value for the password then press set then navigate now by pressing the up button and we are now entering for example the rd control delta you want to change that to 5 then press set to memorize just press set button and you're all done thanks for watching Welcome guys, today we're going to put a time delay for the compressor and evaporator fan to this Karel EC model. I will restart and see for yourself. In the moment, we don't have a time delay. And to do that, just simply press this button here. Long press it. When PS appear, release another. Press the set button and we enter a value of 2240 password by pressing the up button <clears throat> press set and let's locate for CO there press set and we're going to put the value of 1 minute there long press to save and go back to display and we're going to restart and see for yourself 
if there is a time delay now see it start flashing just wait for one minute uh, do this if you want to protect the compressor from uh, any abnormalities preventing the over overheating of your compressor there it has now one minute time delay thanks for watching everyone until next time mabuhay this is the room sensor once you encounter this alarm this is auto reset Now the compressor is now engaged and the alarm is gone. Welcome guys, today we're going to set the codes AL alarm of Karel EC. For example, we are in a cheater setting that is 1 to 5 degrees Celsius and 1 is the cutoff of the compressor once the sensor got a problem the comp the compressor doesn't stop and it keeps on running until it reaches to negative temperature and we're going to prevent that because there are times that this sensor malfunction to do that we're going to press the set button here press it when PC appear, press set again and let's enter a value of 22 for the password press set and let's navigate for AL the default for this is negative 50 Press set. Okay, this set zero. So I'm going to put a value of negative seven or eight. It's up to you if you want negative ten. There's no problem. There. Then, then I'm going to press the set button to memorize. I want to I put my sensor in the freezer side so it temperature will go down there temperature temperature is now going down and I'm going to change my set point so it will activate this to one degree Celsius This is the room sensor. Once you encounter this alarm, this is auto reset. Now the compressor is now engaged. And the alarm is gone. We are now experiencing H1 alarm. So use this function guys to protect the 
compressor as well as the product inside hi today i will show you on how to activate the high temperature alarm of Caril easy model to do that we're going to press the set button here just long press it when ps appear release press set button once again and we're going to press the up button here and put a value of 22 for the password then press set button again then press up button and we're going to locate AH code there AH then press and since my set point is chiller I'm going to put a value of either 15 or 20 it's up to you do not put something that premature otherwise it keeps on triggering the high temperature alarm because you, you need to consider the defrost cycle and the frost time proceed to memorize and let's locate for the um, this is the delay of the activation of alarm let's check for the value if you want 10 minutes here the default for this is 15 minutes for demo purposes only I'm going to put the value of 1 minute only then preset and let's long press it to memorize and we are now in the display now I'm going to reset that one and let's wait that the high temperature alarm will activate and this is my room sensor here I'm holding it and the temperature in my room is 23 degrees Celsius we have a one minute time delay for the activation of compressor as well as the evaporator fan Ang dahilan ng pagtuturo ko mga idol ay para maging bihasa kayo at huwag kayong umasa sa mga default value lamang. Ito kasi is hindi activated kapag galing sa manufacturer. So dapat tayo bilang technician ang nakakaalam. It engaged now. See? We have now H1. Um, because the one minute delay is also been counted and we are now experiencing H1 alarm so use this function guys a lot of technician I saw when they program they only change the set point so if you're doing that you're not an expert so use this function um, to protect the compressor as well as the product inside from a product spoilage for demo purposes, I just put it to one minute for the activation of the delay. But normally, set that to 10 minutes. So it will not going to activate prematurely. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.